So I am working on a team with other students um, at my PI, Dr. Laura Bean, uh, in her behavioral neuroscience lab, which I am currently standing in. And we are looking at the impact of hormone withdrawal at birth in mammals. So in mammals, during pregnancy, they have a very, very, very sharp rise in estrogen and progesterone. And at birth, they both drop almost immediately. So we want to see if this very sharp decline in hormones has any impact uh, neurophysiologically. My group is looking specifically at levels of oxytocin receptors in various brain regions. And it's actually a follow-up of work that was done during last year's thesis where they found that as a result of this hormone withdrawal, you actually see higher levels of oxytocin in the brain as opposed to like everywhere else in the body, specifically in the brain. And so uh, this year, we're kind of basically trying to figure out maybe where that oxytocin is going. Perhaps if we know where that's going, that would identify brain regions that might be specific to the postpartum period. Um, and kind of the broader application of all of this research um, is we're interested in specifically in like peripartum mood disorders. Postpartum depression is what a lot of people know them as. Um, it's highly understudied, very underdiagnosed, and we're hoping that perhaps some of the research that we're doing now would elucidate brain regions that are needed for further study. Depending on the results that we get this semester, um, if we do identify brain regions that have been changed, next semester we're going to pharmacologically uh, manipulate those brain regions to see if um, that manipulation produces any kind of symptomatology that is similar to the postpartum depression symptoms we see in humans.